Hello, my friends. You know what time it is. It's time to learn American English File, Second Edition, Book One. This is Part Eleven B. What do you want to do? All right. First, ambition. What does this word mean? Ambition. Check it in your dictionary. And yes, John Wick. John Wick is the man of focus, commitment, and sheer will. What does it mean? When he wants something, he does it. And goals, right? Now I have some questions for you. What are your goals? What do you want to achieve in life? What is your purpose in life? How serious are you in your goals? Are you disciplined or motivated? Which one is more important? And can you become what you want to be? Do you believe in yourself? All right. So answer these questions and speak to your partner. Right? Okay. Now, everybody, read about the website forty three things dot com. How does it work? Okay, read this, everybody. What is this website? Tell me. What is this website about?、Mm -hmm. Let's read it together. Forty three things is a website where people write things that they want to do. There are always forty three different ambitions. Some are trivial, little, and some are more serious. Other people respond and write about their experiences and sometimes give advice. All right. So, what is this website about? People write things they want to do, their ambitions, their goals, and others answer, writing about their experience or giving advice. Okay, we need this website. All right, hold on. Now, we have some comments here. A, B, C, D, E. These are comments on the website. Now, I want you to read this first. Read the website. Now, match the headings with the comments, right? So, match the headings with the responses or the comments. Okay, do it. A few minutes later. Well done. Okay, let's read it together. All right. A. I spend less time on Facebook. For example, only two hours on the weekends. Stop using Second Life if you use it. I uninstalled it. What second life? A website that is a free 3D、uh, virtual world where users can socialize, create new personalities, and interact with other users.、Hmm. All right. So which one is it?、I、spend less time on the internet. Right. Okay. B. Get a Laura Pausini CD. Download the lyrics to a song and translate them. What's Laura Pausini? An Italian pop singer popular in several European and Latin American countries. Italian. Okay, so download the lyrics to a song and translate them. You can use Google Translate for this. Listen carefully to the pronunciation and then sing along with her. I sang "Incancelable."、Hmm. Learn to speak Italian. Well done. And see, you just need to stop cutting it. Don't worry about the latest fashions. Go for it.、Hmm. Have very long hair. All right. And D. Choose five things you really like eating. For example, roast chicken and chocolate cake. And then look for recipes on the internet. Choose the recipes that you'd like to try, preferably ones that aren't too difficult. Make the five things again and again until they're perfect. It isn't difficult. You just need to practice. Okay. So what is this one? Learn to cook, and eat. Wear black clothes. Be yourself, and listen to bands like The Cult and The Mission. Become a goth.、Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Well done, everybody. All right. Now, everybody, look at these verbs: become, download, bite, go, choose, learn, climb, spend, visit. Now I want you to complete these phrases with a verb. Okay, let's do it together. A mountain, climb a mountain. Number two, 
go on a safari. Do you know what a safari is? Check it in Google. Yeah, that is a safari. It's very good. All right, number three, learn to cook. Number four, spend less time on the internet. Number five, download the lyrics. Number six, choose five things you really like eating. Number seven, become a goth. Number eight, visit all the continents. Number nine, bite my nails. Well done. Okay, now, everybody, look at these sentences. There are some highlighted verbs. Look, want, learn, like, need, you'd like. Now, first question, what's the form of the next verb? The next verb. And which one is different? Okay, look at them with your partner. Answer the questions. So, what is the form of the next verb? What do you want to do? with your life, learn to cook, need to stop cutting it, right? So the next verb is an infinitive, to stop, all right, or to cook, to try. Now, which one is different? Like is different, it's followed by ing, like eating, like swimming, right? Now, keep this over here, let's move on, all right. Everybody, listen and practice. 5.31 I want to find a new job. You need to practice every day. When did you learn to play the guitar? Would you like to be famous? Okay, very nice want to find need to practice learn to play would you like to be famous now pay attention many verbs are followed by the infinitive what's the infinitive to find to practice to play to be now these include want need learn promise decide plan and hope after these verbs we have an infinitive like, I want to find a new job. I need to practice after need. When, when did you learn to play the guitar? All right. Would you like to be famous? All right. Learn. Learn to play the guitar. Promise to be on time. Decide to achieve your goal. Plan to visit another country. Hope to pass the exam. Right? Now, would like to. What does it mean? Let me show you. I would like to. I want to. Now or in the future. I would like to ride a motorbike. I would like to buy a house. Now or in the future. Now, contractions. Look. I'd. I would. I wouldn't. I would not. Right? Easy. Now, use the infinitive after would like. I would like to learn English, for example. Remember, you can also use would you like to offer something. Would you like a drink? Right? Now, would like is the same for all people, for all persons. All right? Now, would like and like. I'd like to dance. I want to dance. I like dancing. I enjoy it. It's in general. I like it in general. Now, let's practice this. I know it's easy. It's easy for you because you're smart, right? First, again, use the verbs here and complete the sentences. Sam loves Africa. He wants to climb Mount Kilimanjaro, right? Climb to climb. In the next part, circle the correct form. Circle the correct form. I hate flying. So I usually travel by train. Stop the video and do it. Very good. Check it with your partner. Good. Let's do it together. Number one. I learned to drive a car when I was 17. I passed my test the first time. Number two. 
Our refrigerator is broken. We need to buy a new one. Number three. I wouldn't like to be famous. I'm happy the way I am now. Number four. He promised to call his girlfriend after work. Number five. The weather was terrible. We decided to stay at home. Number six. My friend would like to see Radiohead live. She loves them. Number seven. They're planning to get married. Their wedding is on July 12th. Number eight. I studied hard last week. I hope to pass the exam. Number nine. Do you like animals? Would you like to go on a safari? And number 10. She's enjoying the party. She doesn't want to leave. Right? Part B. Number one. Would you like to have dinner with me tonight? Number two. My grandmother learned to drive when she was 62. Number three. I'd like to travel around Asia. Number four. I like relaxing on weekends. Number five. Do you want to play soccer? Number six. He is hoping to have more time when he retires. Number seven. Most people hate going to the dentist. Number eight. I love reading detective stories. And number nine, it's cold. You need to wear a coat. And number ten, my mom doesn't like cooking. Well done, everyone. You did very good. I'm proud of you. All right. Pronunciation. Everybody, listen and repeat. 5.32 Would you like to go to Iceland? No. I wouldn't. Why not? Because I don't like the cold. Okay, well done. Now, everybody, I want you to listen to another dialogue. Complete the missing stressed words. Complete the dialogue. Let's do it. 5.33 Would you like to get a new job? Yes, I'd love to. Why? Because I hate my job. It's really boring. Okay. If you need, you can listen again. Let's do it together. A. Would you like to get a new job? Yes, I'd love to. Why? Because I hate my job. It's really boring. Well done. Now practice this dialogue with your partner. Very good. Now, in pairs, you and your friend, choose 10 ambitions from what you want to do with your life. Ask your partner questions using, would you like to? Would you like to climb Mount Kilimanjaro? Yes, I would. No, I wouldn't. All right? Do it together. Talk about your ambitions. Well done. Now, everybody, we have a speaking practice. Work in pairs, you and your friend. Take turns. Tell a partner about the things below. Respond to what your partner says. Ask questions. Ask what about you. For example, a country you want to go to. Something you would like to learn to do. Something you need to do tomorrow. A vacation you are planning to take soon. A famous person you hope to meet one day. A movie you want to see soon. A dangerous sport you would like to try. Something you need to buy soon. A singer or a group you hope to see one day. For example, I really want to go to Australia. Oh yes? Why Australia? Speak with your partner. And now I have a writing for you. Again, 43 things today. So. You're going to write a page for 43 things, all right? Now, when you write it, all right, read other students' page as well, your other friend's page, and write a response. Write comments for your friends, and your friends write comments for you, right? And another one done. I hope that you enjoyed this session. If you have a question, you can comment down below and I will get back to you. Wish you all the best and I hope to hear from you soon. Best wishes.